Alright, so what's going on guys? My name's Chopper, and today I have the full Shaolin Shuffle solo Easter egg tutorial for you guys. This is the most probably hard Easter egg in all of Infinite Warfare Zombies, and I worked extremely hard getting this gameplay and putting this in-depth tutorial for you guys together. It's going to show you how to do everything from round one, the first step, and then all the way up into the boss fight, and completing that. So if you guys do end up enjoying this, or if this does help you at all, make sure to leave a like. We're going to aim for 300 likes on this tutorial, and that would be greatly appreciated. And also, not to mention, if you are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. But with all that stuff out of the way and without too much talking guys, let's go ahead and jump into the Shaolin Shuffle Solo Easter Egg Guide. The first thing you're going to want to do is get to round 5 and speak to Pam Greer, but the rounds leading up to 5, 1 through 5, you're going to want to build as many points as you possibly can and get the map opened up early, but go ahead and once you speak to Pam Greer, you'll be able to pick up one of the cheese. It doesn't really matter which one you pick, you know, it's all personal preference. I usually choose Tiger, but that's just me, and uh, you're just gonna, you're gonna want to pick one that you can upgrade for later on. Now once you have your initial upgrade done on your first cheese, get basically getting the melee kills you're gonna get the shurikens and then once you get to that step go speak to Pam Greer she'll give you a quote about your rat king boss and then it's gonna spawn in these cages with the rats that you can see right here I just opened one up with the ninja star basically as soon as you were on this step you were then able to spawn in these rats and what you have to do is break them open with your shurikens that you now have on your second upgrade and you need to follow this rat around the map and he's gonna take you pretty far there's gonna be a, probably around five to six cages that he's going to visit and you need to break him out of each and every single one of them now it, he's not really too hard to follow like he doesn't go fast or anything like that he'll just hop into a cage just break him out and keep following him until he stops now during this step i highly recommend that you save one slow zombie that will follow you around the map just so he doesn't get in the way if you do this mid round you're just asking for trouble but basically he's going to go to all the different cages keep busting him out and then eventually he's going to stop or once you get to this last cage and you break it the cage is going to disappear there'll be no rat and then you're going to see this circle right here this yellow circle right here is going to be a soul box and it's going to be in the proximity of wherever the last rat spawn was or wherever you kind of end up uh, breaking the cage at and you need to get a bunch of zombies kills that are inside the circle you don't have to use your cheap power you don't have to use and you can use whatever you want your guns your grenades whatever but you need to get about 10 zombie kills within this uh, circle just until it disappears and then once that goes away you need to probably leave the vicinity just for at least a second because you're going to have those ninja zombies spawn in and you need to go ahead and take them out as quickly as possible as soon as you've taken out all the ninja zombies there's going to be a locker or a key is going to spawn for a locker that is right where your ring was so go ahead and pick up that key and then you can take this over down to the subway station to the locker with the chinese writing on it so come out of the disco room and then go into the subway station where bang bangs is at and then go all the way down here you're gonna see a set of lockers and then a special one with writing on it hold square on that locker or x if you're on xbox and then that is going to open up the locker it's going to reveal some symbols in it but you really don't need to pay attention to those but now you need to shoot four chinese symbols that are on the map i'm going to show you each one in order what you need to do now these symbols are the same order every time, so just pay attention to exactly what I do and repeat this step. Now, your first symbol is going to be right outside the dojo, that first Chinese symbol on the wall right outside the mic right, right there. So just hit it with one bullet, you'll hear a gong, and then you can move on to the second one. The next symbol to hit is going to be over here in the bathroom. It's going to be the second symbol on this stall door. It's going to be that one right there. So hit that symbol. You're going to hear another gong. And then come all the way over to this wooden box that's going to be over by the magic wheel and the clotheslines. And then you're going to hit your last two symbols right here. You need to hit the first two. So that's going to be three. And then that's going to be four right there. And then you should hear a much grander gong. And then that's how you know that you did the step correctly. So once you have done that, then you can head over back to Pam Greer. So coming up to the dojo, you're going to notice this Rat King symbol on the floor here. And this is going to be your first spawn or your first mini boss that you want to fight him at. So hold your action button on that and then the Rat King will spawn. And you're going to make sure that you have at least a decent setup, you know, some good perks, some good weapons. You can use your chief if you want to. It's not recommended. I do highly suggest that you use a weapon. But uh, what you're going to do is you're going to shoot down the Rat King with whatever means necessary. But once he is killed, then he's going to drop this right here. In the spot where the Rat King is killed, you're going to notice a floating green eyeball. And then so just go over to the eyeball and then you're you're going to want to pick it up you're going to see it appear in your newspaper and that is going to be your scanner so this is where you need to go around and scan some rat king symbols and this is a very tricky step so you need to pay attention and listen closely to all the locations or else you could get very confused also not to mention before i show you guys all the locations these symbols will only spawn one at a time so if you do end up finding one you need to go back and recheck every single other location because now it could potentially spawn there so just keep that in mind when you're doing this in total, there are 13 different locations that we're going to be looking at for that Rat King symbol that we saw that spawned in the initial Rat King. The first one's going to be right there on the left side of the dojo. Second one's going to be right in the barber shop. You're going to want to scan inside there. If you don't see it, just move along, keep going to the next locations. But the next one... 
There's another possible location on the first rooftop out of the dojo. It's going to be inside that barrier sitting over there on the wall. The next one can be over in the heebie-jeebie section on the back of this amplifier. Another tricky one you could possibly have is over here in spawn, and you're going to want to scan right here and outside the playable area in the map. It's going to be in the railing, so make sure you do pay attention to that one just in case it is. Another spot you might have is just past Dead Eye Dewdrops, and it's going to be on the back of these laundry, and uh, you're going to see it on just sitting on one of the shirts. The next one can be over here by the water tower. This one's tricky to see, so make sure you're kind of jumping around to make sure it's not on the roof of that. Another spot you might have is on the same rooftop as the water tower, but it's going to be over here on top of this vent that's in the disco. There could be one over by Bomb Stoppers. Get on top of the railing right here, scan outside the map, and it'll be on the passenger's uh, door of the police car. You may have one on the floor, what is known as the blue room over here. You're going to want to jump. You have to actually jump shot to hit this one. So scan and then jump and make sure, as you can see right there, I actually had it, and uh, it's a little bit tricky to hit. There's a, another one right outside that area that is on the left side of the disco sign. There's another one if you scan all the way on the edge of the map, and uh, it's going to be right outside over here on this building. Another very tricky one is going to be in the subway station behind this barrier right here where the train is, and uh, it's going to be on the ground. It's very difficult to see, so make sure you do not miss that one. But once you have collected all six of the Rat King symbols, you're going to notice that there are phones down below in the subway that are red, but one of them is not going to be red, and you're going to want to pick that one up because it's going to be ringing. Now, it's going to give you a set of Morse code. I'm going to go ahead and explain to you guys this step in detail because it is very, very tricky, and I'm going to show you how to do it uh, exactly. Exactly. So listen to your phone call all the way through to activate this step and you're going to get a combination of 15 different sounds. Now what I've done is given you guys a Morse code key. So what I recommend you do is listen to the first five sounds. It's either going to be a dot or a dash. You know the dashes are the longer ones and then the dots are the shorter sounds. So get your first five and then put that into an order right here and that's going to be your corresponding number. Once you figure out your first number then listen to the next five sounds and then determine your second number and by the time you have the second one you should be able to match which Nightmare Summer post you need now. Now I do apologize for this next step. Somehow my gameplay got corrupted of me doing this, but I'm going to tell you guys all of the possible numbers that you need to look for on these Nightmare Summer posters. There's going to be six there around the map. You need to find the one that corresponds with your three uh, digits from your uh, Morse code. So the first one is going to be 281. The second one is going to be 420. The next one is going to be 713. The next one is going to be 818. The next one is going to be 596. And the last one is going to be 407. So you're going to see these little codes at the bottom of each Nightmare Summer poster and you need to pick up the poster that corresponds with that number. Once you have your poster, take it to the rooftop, place it on this spotlight, and then uh, once it's reflecting onto that window, once you place it over and it's going to make an X, shoot out that window that the lights reflects onto with an explosive weapon. After you do that, a set of ninja zombies will spawn in, and then once they are killed, you're going to see these red symbols over here on the rooftop, and uh, they're all going to have a different letter. Now, I'm going to go ahead and include you guys a key right here so you can translate these. Basically, you need to spell out a word using the symbols on the rooftop and using this key. Now, ignore the big letters in the back of this. That doesn't really mean anything. You just want to be able to match up the little symbols with the uh, the letters that are corresponding below it. And you're going to want to spell out a certain word. It's going to give you your first letter every single time to sort of give you a hint, but there's honestly so many different words that it could possibly be. And what I've done is give you a list of some of the potential ones, but there's probably at least hundreds of these. I have no idea how many there's going to be, but this is just a kind of example of what you could be looking for. So if you want to go off of this and maybe try some of these out while you're playing your game, feel free to go ahead. Eventually, there probably will be a list of every single possible word that it could uh, potentially be. But this step is I don't know, it's kind of frustrating, but it is interesting to do, and it's definitely a, a puzzle you got to logic your way through. At any point you fail too many times, and it takes away your first letter that you have, and you hear a Willard Weiler laugh, don't fear, just flip the round, and then go to the next one, and the symbols will come right back. I believe you can fail it 10 times in this before it goes away, but if that happens to do that, just go to the next round, and you can try it once again uh, when you get down to one zombie. But just have fun on the step. Just don't take it too seriously. Just relax, and uh, you will definitely get through it. Once you have successfully spelled out your word, you can head over to the rooftop, you'll hear a gong, and then you'll see another Rat King symbol on the floor here. Hold your action button to spawn him in and then you have to fight him for the second time once again. Now this time he's a little bit trickier. He doesn't put up his shield too much but what he does is throw his shield at you and it can actually be very lethal. So make sure you are careful with this. This is uh, I honestly I recommend you do use the ripper and maybe your starting pistol for this. Honestly these are the guns that I roll with through every single easter egg. It just makes it very very easy to get through and uh, once you kill the rat king he's going to drop this blue brain right here that is very easy to see. Then you can go ahead and pick it up and that is your next step. Also, don't forget, every time you pick up either the eye, the brain, or the third piece, you're going to make sure you talk to Pam Gur between each and every single one to activate the next step. As you speak to her, you'll notice your screen tearing right by where your scene is, and uh, you can see that hole, like, kind of in the film, and what you want to do is pass three rounds, and each time, you're going to see that thing pop up at the very start of the round. So what you need to do is probably get strapped up right here, make sure you have all your perks, all your weapons, make sure that you are pack-a-punched and everything you need to go, because eventually, it's going to teleport you out. 
This step is really cool, so enjoy it. Once you're on that third round, whenever you are not expecting it, eventually the film reel is going to crash, and it's going to teleport you back into the regular area right outside the dojo, and you're going to want to kill about 10 zombies, so make sure you're on your feet as soon as you spawn in, because they can kill you very, very fast. So, once you kill these zombies, a turnstile is going to spawn in. It's very easy to see. It kind of looks like uh, the locker that you picked up at one of the first steps. Pick up that turnstile. It's going to add to your inventory, then take it down to the subway station by spawn, and put it where the missing turnstile is supposed to go that's gonna flip and then you'll get that step completed and also not to mention you'll get a trophy to go along as well when the turnstile is placed in, you'll see that this ladder is now able to be climbed as it wasn't able to before. So go up the ladder and then walk over here on the scaffolding and then you're going to see a window off in the distance with a Rat King symbol in it right here. So shoot that Rat King symbol and then the window is going to fall over it. And then you can see the circles that were from the Rat Step are going to spawn in and these can be literally anywhere in the, around the map. There's going to be six of these rings that need to fill up with souls. It's going to be around 10 so just do the exact same thing that you did on the initial Rat Step and uh, just walk literally everywhere around the map. It could be the sub ways it could be in the alleys it, it could be on the rooftops literally anywhere and the, also the circles can repeat spots they can go to where they were like maybe you had one uh, as your second ring it could also be your sixth ring so just get some trains and then run around the map do a couple tours until you find all these rings once you've managed to complete all six rings around the map you're gonna hear a gong that is you know, obviously the completion noise and then you can move on to your next step and you are almost done this is the final step right before the boss fight so this is the final step, but listen closely on this one because it's a very easy step, but you can overcomplicate it and make it a lot harder on yourself if you don't pay attention. So come up to the DJ booth in the disco, hold square on that, and then it's going to begin your step. So during this step, you're going to see a zombie with a disco ball over his head on the dance floor. Now how you want to do this is when you kill the zombie, when another zombie is on the dance floor, once that zombie is killed, it will pass the disco ball along to another one. Now, you're going to want to kill seven in total, but the thing is, the caveat here is that the zombies that can be killed are the, the, the ones that only have the disco ball above their head. If you end up killing any other zombies, it will reset your step. So you need to kill seven disco ball zombies in a row, and like I said, it will only pass on that as long as there is another one on the dance floor so watch my technique right here keep them on the dance floor but make sure that you uh kind of sanction off the one that has the disco ball and after you kill seven of these you're going to hear a gong and then your third and final rat symbol is going to spawn right outside of the uh, the disco thing but like i said this is a very easy step but it can be difficult if uh, you kind of don't know what you're doing or if you go into this a little bit wrong so once you kill the final zombie you're going to hear the rat symbol spawn outside and then you can go ahead and then fight him now my apologies, the third and final Rat King symbol is right outside the disco, uh, kind of where Pack-a-Punch is, so just hold square on that, fight him for the last time, and once you kill him, then you can go over and talk to Pam Greer. So once that is completed, once you've talked to Pam, then you want to head down into the boss fight. Now, either it'll pull you from the dojo and just send you into the boss fight automatically, or you're going to have to walk there yourself. And now, at this point, a lot of ninja zombies are going to be spawning in, just how you probably have noticed during the, uh, the last boss fight for the third and final Rat King, and also not to mention, when you kill him, you will get a new grenade, which replaces your lethals, and it's going to be his heart. But at this point, make sure you are 100% prepared to go and fight the Rat King for the final time in the boss fight arena. Make sure you have all your perks, all your weapons, your fate and fortune cards, whatever you might need to do this, because at this point, there's no turning back. Make your way through the tunnel, down over into the arena, and then once you hit the barrier, the boss fight will begin automatically. You're going to see this little cutscene. The Rat King is going to spawn in, and I'm going to walk you through each step of this boss fight because, especially by yourself, this is not easy. This is no walk in the park by any means whatsoever, and you do have to be on your toes at all times. So basically, your first sequence is going just to be load up the Rat King with bullets. Just shoot him up, put some damage into him, use your highest DPS weapon possible, and then you will begin the first sequence. Once you've shot him up enough, then you will be given a choice of three trials to begin in the boss fight. There's going to be the green, which is the scanner, the red, which is the heart, and then the blue, which is the brain. And I'm going to tell you to do brain first, because I believe the order kind of is important. I mean, it doesn't really matter which one you do, but it's going to be more helpful if you do it like this. I would recommend you start with the brain, and I'll show you how to do this sequence. So hit the symbol that's in the middle of the room, and then the brain will come out, and then what you need to do is keep the Rat King from destroying the purple-eyed zombies. There's going to be some zombies that chase you, but there's also going to be some special ones with purple eyes that are fixed on the brain, and they want to eat that one. So the Rat King is going to try to defend his brain. What you need to do is push him off those purple zombies that are going to uh, attack that. A good strategy here is to train in a specific direction, and then shoot the Rat King whenever you can when he's on the sides, and then push him off the middle whenever possible. So basically, all you're doing is buying enough time for the purple-eyed zombies to fully consume the brain, and then once that is completed once you've defended it for long enough a max ammo will spawn and then you have completed that first sequence 
Now the next one I recommend you do is the heart and that is the red one. So this is going to spawn acid that is around the outside of the thing. I'm telling you guys right now, this one is not easy at all. This one is very, very difficult. So what you need to do is there's going to be these acid pools around the out the outer ridge of this and it can hurt you so you do got to be careful. I end up dying a lot in this and uh, it's just kind of one of those things where it's even this hard that's going to spawn you perks around the outside of the map like in crates and stuff. So make sure you are looking out for that. But basically you need to kill a zombie in each one of these acid puddles. I found the best way to do this is take your uh, your double upgraded starting pistols and take them around to each puddle and uh, honestly like this thing I tried the claw right here did not work at all what you want to do is I guess get like get a couple kills and the acid puddles on one section jump back into the middle and then go to the other parallel side or like the opposite of the room and then do the same thing and like I said you only have about a minute to do this I think it's 30 seconds on co-op about one minute on uh, solo that's what I found anyway I could be wrong on that so don't quote me on it but I I'm telling you guys like even right here like you can pick up perks this is not an easy step, so take your time trying to get too frustrated, but um, once you are actually able to manage to kill all the zombies within these acid puddles and clean them up in about a minute, then you will be able to go on to the next sequence and also rewarded with a max ammo. Pick up the third and final piece, which is the eyeball, and you're going to see these purple Rat King symbols around the map. You can see them like all across the ceiling and stuff, and you need to break each and every single one. Just keep scanning until you have all of them, and uh, this step compared to the last one is much more relaxed, so I recommend you do this one right before the very end, but uh, once you break all the symbols, then you will face the Rat King for the third and final time, but this is not easy either. So the Rat King will come down to face you for the third and final time and this one is extremely difficult he's going to be spawning in a lot of ninja zombies going to be attacking you with his own weapons and his own shields and his stuff uh, stuff like that and not to mention the regular zombies that are going to be in here as well so you need to be moving at all times this is a super difficult step and honestly you're probably going to die i don't think there's really much you can do without downing i mean um you can keep moving around pam Greer will be able there to pick you up i'm honestly not even sure how many times she will revive you but your perks still will spawn around the map like they've made the boss fight this difficult that they have to give you your perks even after you die so just keep that in mind you can see i keep going down right here it's honestly not too much i can do about it but you just want to keep shooting up the rat king until eventually you do take him down but as you guys can see right here, I'm pretty much struggling to stay alive in this boss fight at the moment, but while I'm in last stand right here, I'm able to put enough damage into the Rat King, and as soon as Pam Greer revives me, then I have completed, guys. And if some of you follow this along, you have completed the Shaolin Shuffle Easter Egg as well, so congratulations. This is honestly, I've got to give it up to Infinity Ward, the hardest Easter Egg in all of Infinite War for Zombies, and especially for a solo player, which this tutorial is designed for, but you can't get it to the team, you know, it doesn't really matter, you're still going to get the completion regardless if you do follow these steps. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for today. I worked super hard on this guide, so if you guys did enjoy this or if this did help you at all, make sure you do leave a like. Like I said, we are going to aim for 300 likes on this video, and that would absolutely mean the world to me. So anyway, guys, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you are brand new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you're not already, and you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will catch you all on the next video.